Many years back, academia played an important role in crafting the policies of the country. They were the think tanks. Today, we are seeing that our role in shaping the public policy is diminishing. Unless we start public lectures in our universities and other places, I still remember the public lectures at the Nairobi University by prominent people. It is with this nostalgia that I remember the Gandhi lecture series and how it contributed to sharpening the minds of students, faculty, at the Nairobi University then. The public lectures were so popular that people had to come and sit ahead of time, otherwise they wouldn't get a seat. The big names that you see today in the public life and the private life here were shaped by the ideas which came out of these public lectures. The big names, it always was my dream. Not, and now very much supported by the university, that we start a public lecture series and become number one first to set it up so that we have got 65 plus universities each start creating public lectures. And this is necessary for catalyzing thought and debate on key issues that are affecting our country and our society. It's to create an avenue for serious discussions between the private sector, the government, media, civil society, the general public, researchers, lecturers, and students to discuss the key issues which affect in the day-to-day -day life. We want to re reclaim this importance. Our university is providing the evidence-based solutions to our problems. It's my desire to see such deep discussions which can shape the public policy. We would like to see the USI Chancellor's lecture be as much weighted annual event from which leaders from the government and all the numbers that I showed you will provide the direction and strategy for solving many challenges that we are facing. Today the key operative words I want you to take with you to get engaged. I'm repeating again. Get engaged. When we are all engaged and play our part, we can make the world a much better place than what it is today. This is the only place that you can openly challenge the status quo is under the cover of academic inquiry and discourse. You can openly raise all the issues that you want to and discuss the most difficult issues that are facing with fear or reprisal because this is the stage we would like to come back. Let's discuss the issues 
openly understand and being at the university nobody is going to point a finger at you think about the wealth that is hidden in you you always take it for granted there's a huge amount of wealth in this head of yours this is the time you bring it out on a pep in a public lecture and today is the first lecture series and the safaricom ceo bob colimore a mover and a shaker in kenya we have seen many of others when you talk about bob colimore today the mover and a shaker of kenya and he will be discussing digital disruptions preparing for current and future disruptions we never thought about this disruptions few years back but now we have to